Welcome back to the channel friends, it is great to be here, and I hope you're doing well. And welcome back to the calming and soothing vibes of the game Preserve. So what kind of trouble are we getting into here today, my friends? Well, of course we're going to be building beautiful biomes, that's what we do here. But today we're going to be targeting the continental biome. And we're going to try our hand at the large map. So you see the point scaling here, 2, 4, and 4,400 for the three tiers. We're obviously aiming high here, we're going to go for the 44. And it is a large map, I've never played on a large map before, so excited to check it out. And we'll see how this goes. I will of course give you my best, that's what we do here. So let's jump on in without further ado. And while we're jumping in here my friends, if you're enjoying the content here on the channel, maybe you're feeling some zen, maybe you're getting some value out of this. Whatever the situation is, if you're enjoying the content, then please consider becoming a subscriber. I would love to have you in the community. And thank you so much for viewing. I really do appreciate it. So, let's begin. So we have varying elevations on our opening block here. And this is an opening block that we can shape and mold into what we like. Into something beautiful, hopefully, of course. Now, interestingly enough, we need 10 points and we start with simply just two lakes. Or ponds, whatever you want to call them. These will generate points and they will also water the adjacent tiles. Watering isn't really a huge factor in this one. You know, it's not the savanna where we're working with different grass colors, right? It's not. Everything's either green or it's elevated and you can throw mountains on it. It doesn't matter if it's green or not, so I'm not too concerned about that, but... Just first observations here. I see a very high point. Maybe for a river. Maybe we can run the river down it. Obviously don't have a river card yet, but it does affect future choices. So to get our 10 points, I think we definitely want to maximize. Like playing it right here is going to get 7 points, right? So I think that's an ideal spot for a little pond. And we should easily be able to get the remaining. Maybe we play it. Right here, it'll be two, and then three. Boom. Okay, ten. Very good. Now we have rain. Okay, so the game hooks us up with some rain. All right, let's see what our opportunities are. So if I'm thinking river in mind, because I think the river is important, obviously. It's a way to get a lot of score. We obviously want to be conscious of the elevation. So I think if we start a river here, and you can kind of see this line that it would run down, I think that makes a lot of sense. And we can always deviate and go to lower ground, but keeping the river on higher ground first gives you a lot more flexibility. So I think I'm going to install this piece of land right here. I think that makes a lot of sense, and then we're going to have to water for the win here. <laughs> Let's go. Watering for the win. And we can just play them both right there. And what do you know? We finally have some biomes on the third draw in. Interesting mechanic of the large map here. We also have the water wheel. So create a river 18 tiles long, okay? So that's the same as the medium. We don't have a river yet, but I think getting a nice place for a river is probably an important first step. You definitely want to pre-plan things. Or so I've noticed. So if we're going river right here and it's just going to travel along this line. Then what kind of land masses do we have? So another thing that I recall from the medium and small runs is this lowland. Which we don't have any in our hand either. But the lowland is actually kind of hard to use. Or so I've observed. So I want to be conscious of that as well. But it looks like we have a ton of lowland with this particular land selection here and... Let's see, can we connect right here? We can. But then what does that make our river look like? So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, if it's all on this high ground line. But you get a couple of spots where it's river touching river, right? That's not ideal. So we could probably just cut it right across. But I think this is a good spot. For maybe some of the swampland. We'll probably have to drop off here eventually, I would think. 
It's moldable clay, my friends. We'll work with it. We'll definitely work with it. But it looks like we have a mountain biome. We have some grass, trees. We're going to get some biome started here. So, river. Obviously, we know this. I think mountain right here makes a lot of sense. So let's just go ahead and get the mountain in place. Okay, looking good. I mean, maybe we have another mountain adjacent right here as well. That could make some sense for sure. Flower fields, though. Let's see. Where could we insert the flower fields? It's either that or we just water our way to the next point threshold. That probably makes a little more sense. I mean, all of this needs to be watered anyways. So let's get to the next point threshold and see what else we're working with. So we have our friendly goat and the boar. Okay, no river to be spotted yet. Let's see what landmass we have. So I think this arrangement probably makes a lot of sense. We can have the river kind of wind back through. Right? We can put in a swampland right here. I think that makes sense. And we can also continue our mountain biome back here. So let's do this. I like that quite a bit, actually. And then we can keep playing our mountain. So if the river is going to run this line. So it's going to have to use this spot right here. So let's go here, 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 and here with the mountain. And then we can expand the mountain back this way. We'll probably put another mountain biome right back here as well. I'll probably need to, to make use of this. Unless we're looking at like another river. I mean, that's a possibility too, I suppose. But then we're going to have two rivers touching one another. It's probably not the best use of the river card. In fact, I'm talking a lot about rivers and we don't even have a river card in our hand yet, so... Let's just take it draw phase by draw phase. So we get some lowlands here. I like the idea of the lowlands right up against the river. So let's see, if we carve out a little spot here, uh, let's see, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. I'd like to maybe occupy some of this space. I think we really got to figure out our 18 tiles of river. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Do we go 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18? Do something like that? Maybe. So if we do something like that, or maybe I come down here this way, make the river a little bit longer, but I also don't like completely dissecting and alienating, you know, a small portion of the terrain. Yeah, I kind of like that. So if I'm putting in these lowlands, this is what I want to be careful of. Definitely, the lowlands. I mean, I could also just play them back here. Actually, no, I can't. So if we're doing something like... This... I think maybe we start playing the lowlands right here. Because this is all suitable land for lowlands, so we could... Six, seven, eight, nine, ten.
I'm fine with this. I, I can commit to this. I think that makes sense. At least right now it makes sense in the old noggin, right? So let's put in a little grassland or flower land. And we got these ponds we can utilize for some increased points. That could be mountain. So we could do something like this. Alright, there's five there. 65 points. Let's keep grinding. So we got five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Okay, so if we go 12 here and then put in some forest right here. I think that works. This will be swamp back here. We'll have to figure out a way to get maybe two more pieces on. I don't know, really what I need is the river in my hand so I can start really visualizing this a whole lot better. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Okay, so that's all flower land. This right here could be trees. So we can actually water this. Right? Sharp line of the river. And then for our plains, let's see. So this will be mountain up this way. I think plains can probably begin up here somewhere. But I don't know that I'm really ready to commit to that yet without the river and... Without at least like the... The skeleton of the river, right? And what do we have here? So I have 15 habitats of size 12. Okay. Okay. I mean, that's the ideal setup, right? But 15 habitats of size 12. Okay, so that's what we're going for. We're currently sitting at zero. And then, of course, the water wheel. So I wonder what that is. That must be the feature of the large map. All right, perfect. And we do get a river, actually. So I should be able to just play this. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 17. So it's going to have to do... It's going to have to be like this. And that will allow us to continue to expand this way, this way, and this way. And hopefully get, you know, 12 tile biomes. So I think I'm okay with this. In fact, that river looks real nice. I like that. So let's confirm it. Let's lock it in. Plus 52 score. And of course, we do get the water wheel. Okay, so I will play the water wheel as I can. What I want to do is I want to try to find a spot where it can converge on as many different biomes as possible. Let's take a look at our landmass, though. So real quick, what do I need here? One. So that's going to be high ground, which our planes can go on. So we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So I need two spots that can be suitable for altered terrain. And wow, there's a lot of mountainous area here, for sure. So it kind of feels like this is the ideal setup. You got the 1, 2 right here, right? And then you can go 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. And maybe another river originates from here. That's a possibility. But we're going to have to play mountain on this elevated terrain. So 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. I mean, we got a lot of this very high ground. Which is hard to work with. Now we can do things like rivers, or sorry, uh, lakes and ponds. And rivers as well, but it's hard to work with. So how can we... I mean, basically what I'm going to want to do is use as much of this super high ground as possible. For the mountain. And then maybe try to cut it off and then... Maybe like fill as much of this. 
I think this is probably okay. So let's do that and let's continue our mountainous footprint. So something like that, 9, maybe 10, 11, 12. We'll have to find a solution for like right here. Either that or... Can I undo the landmass placement? I cannot, okay. I think that's still... It's still alright. I don't think we've seen the last of land masses that are very high ground oriented, you know? Let's go ahead and get a biome of 12 of this fine grassland, though. So let's do something like this. Actually, we'll do this. Okay, so we have 12. Low ground. Let's make it rain. 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. Okay, so we'll have to find a solution for that. That'll be okay. Let's continue the perseverance of our flower lands here. So five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. We could go eleven, twelve, and then make this mountain. Actually, no, this yeah, that can be mountain. In fact, this could all be mountain. This four block could be. I think that probably makes more sense. So as it currently sits, I mean, we're looking at a pretty good convergence point, like right. So if I make this flower land, so we have the flower biome, the plains biome, the forest biome, all touching on this one point here. Maybe we get another mountain in back this way. I'm going to have to see what kind of land we're looking at. So this is another very high ground oriented piece of land, but I think it's an opportunity to potentially maximize the effectiveness of our water wheel. But of course we have these two very high ground zones. Those are good for lakes. Or potentially a river. What I do need to do is I do need to add additional land for our swamp. So I can do something like this. We can make this mountain here. Continue to creep the swamp over, right? Get 12 there. Lock that in. How about for our forest biome? So we could actually add the forest back here too. Let me figure out the forest here real quick. So we have 11. So we'll make that for 12. So 4, 5, 6, 7. So we're going to need 5 zones here. The forest can go on the rocky ground. Not a problem. And this has to be oriented like so. Probably like this. So 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. Could put in another mountain range there. I'm okay with this. And then it's going to be mountain here. And back. And then we'll go forest. Just continue to have the forest expand through the mountains. In fact, let's get it watered so I remember what I'm trying to do here. Okay, that's looking good. 
got more mountains. In fact, we're building like several mountain biomes here. And this particular landmass does worry me just a little bit. I don't love it. It's probably what I love the least about this so far. So we have our 12. Basically what I would need to do is find a way to pinch this off with something. And then start another mountain biome down here. But we can cross that bridge when we get there. And I think we can do that with these ponds. I think we certainly can. Maybe I can end up getting like four of them. Or maybe we can start another biome here on this elevated terrain. Like flower lands or something. And then just do like three ponds here. There's still a little bit of flexibility there. We'll have to figure it out. Alright, we're at 242, need 320. It could be a time to start playing some animals for sure. We have a great need for mountains though, for sure. So why don't we go ahead and get the boar in the swamp. In the forest. Let's get the goat in the flower field. In the mountain. Let's get the bee in the plains. Goat in the mountain. All right, we need two more. So I could go short term in on the goats. You know, two more goats in the mountain, that'll get us there. And then I could always use my removal cards. Or we could play the water wheel right now. Now, if we do the water wheel right here, it will converge on four different biomes, right? Plains, flowers, forest, and mountain. So I think this is the spot for the water wheel for sure. Let me just make sure I'm reading this right. Must be placed on a river. Plus two to all freshwater adjacency. Or maybe it's just a global effect for all freshwater adjacency. Either way, I think we play this, and I think we do it right here. Got some real good score from that, for sure. Now we have some more terrain to work with, some more biomes to work with. So that's good. Flower fields, yes, you bet. Let's complete that, and how are we looking for this goal? A 4 or 15, okay. We have 12 here, 12 here. How many mountain tiles did we get? We got five. So six, seven, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. I mean, we have to do it. Let's see what the land looks like. A large mixture. Otherwise, another zone I'm looking at is right here as well. So we have five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. I mean, we could work with this. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. One, two, three. 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. I have two left over. I don't think I really need to worry about new land quite yet. Let's continue to develop our biomes, but it's obviously good to kind of plan ahead, right? Okay, so we have some high ground here. This is going to be a spot for a pond, undoubtedly. In fact, the river probably should have ran like this. That's all right. Okay, so let's continue to develop our... Let's see, what do we have? So, I could do... Well, we have... So, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. We could knife in a little flower field right here. Ultimately, we're going to want to water all of this. Eight, 
nine, ten. Either that or eight, nine, ten. So a pawn goes there for sure. It just will. It has to. So let's do a flower field right here. We're gonna have to add some ground. Not a big deal. We're gonna have to add some ground here. And we'll want to because it's adjacent to the river. Mountain, mountain. How about uh, plains? More planes. All right, let's see what this offers us now. So we could do something like this. So 10, 11, 12 for the mountain. And then 3, 6, 9, 10, 11. 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. It just doesn't work out so well. Given we're trying to start a biome right here. I mean, do we maybe look at something like this? I think we can go with something like this. We'll go mountain here, right? Just need two more to complete this biome. And then, of course, we can add in the flowers. So let's get this all watered up. Let's make it rain. So we need seven points. I can play one animal and get us there. Give us a little more flexibility. Alright, so we have... The beaver. Beaver goes in the swamp. You bet. Alright, we get another piece of land. Let's take a look at what this looks like. Got another river as well. So that's interesting. Do I maybe try to run a river to solve, you know, this quandary back here? Do we maybe run a river through it? Right? Something like this. And just wind it down. It'll make for some real prime real estate in here. So I'm thinking something like this. And then we would have to put another mountain biome back here, but at least it would only be one wasted spot. I mean, we're going to need a lot of mountains, that's for sure. So I'm going to save my rivers because they serve a certain function for us. So let's continue to just get this biome played out. So that's 12. And let's go with this. Actually, I'm going to... While I'm thinking about it, let's complete this one. Let's get our flower lands played. Alright, so we need to save two zones here. I think we can begin to play some planes right here. I think it's right there for us. We have 12. All right, there's eight. You can just add some land and, you know, complete that. We're at 508. Sitting at 508. Either that or... Well, no. You don't want to have two rivers. I'm just trying to think of a spot for another river. I think right here is probably the ideal spot. So let's see, what does this land look like if we're building with a river in mind? I mean, I think this does pretty well. Do something like this. Right? It's going to make for some really high-scoring land right in here. So let's do it. Let's do that right there. I like it. And then it's going to be river. I probably won't play it quite yet. But it'll be something like this. 
And then the river can extend down this way. But let's get some more land in place first before we start playing the river and getting fancy. So if we have... I think what I want to do is I want to start developing out this. So that's for... Add a landmass here, complete the mountain biome. And then another mountain biome is of course going to go... So if the river goes like this, it'll go right in here and eat up all of this zone. Okay, so what else do we need? Got some lowland. Gonna have to hold on to that for a while. Plains, it's good until we can expand our footprints. Still have eight more land zones to play, which is good. So I think to get us to the next phase, let's go ahead and play some of our animal friends. So we have the bees in the wildflower land. Very nice. Let's go with the goats and the bees. You bet. I've only got one forest zone so far. I need 40 more points. Well, 35. So goats in the mini mountain biome. Looking good. Got the beaver in the plains. And likewise. And then the boar. I mean, we could certainly play the boar. I could also just play one of these. Ponds as well. I'm thinking this has to be a pond. Boom, it gets us there. Okay, looking good. And you gotta enjoy a nice little hot spring in the mountain, right? So let's see what this land looks like. Looks like it's very low land. I think that does well with our river ambitions on this side. In fact, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. Could easily put in another swamp biome back here. So I think this is an ideal spot for this land selection. So let me just kind of sketch out the river. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. So it's going to pinch off right there. So maybe it'd be something like this. It just continues on through whatever this biome's going to be. How much land are we looking at on this side? 3, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. We got plenty of space. Probably going to have some big points in, in this area here. We have 12 mountain tiles. Okay, so that is good. So I could actually get this additional mountain biome constructed. So we have three. Yeah, so it's, it's got to go down this step here for sure. And otherwise, yeah, the river is going to connect... Okay. So I'm going to need another zone right here for some more mountain. That's all right. We'll figure that out when we get there. Let's complete this zone here. Let's just kind of tie up some loose ends here. And of course, we need more mountain back here as well. So that means... Pond is going here for sure. And we have some animals to play as well, so we can... Got the wolf for the mountain, also for the forest. More boars. Got a lot of boars. How about this swampland? 
I think we just have a, a tailor-made spot for the Swampland right here. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Or twelve, depending. Perfect. All right, looking good. I feel like we really do need another forest biome as well. What kind of opportunity do we have? I think in here is a really good spot for a forest. Either that or the grasslands, but we have plenty of forest cards to play. So I think forest is a selection. So if I'm going like this, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. All right, let's do it. Eight, nine, ten. Maybe something like this. Okay, so that's 12. So let's go ahead and get the boar in there. Definitely need some more boar in the life, for sure. I think this can ultimately connect with whatever goes here to complete this mountain biome. Although I don't want to get stuck with this swampland right here. So I might have to think about that in a little more detail kind of when we get there. We're like partially complete on a lot of uh, zones here. And it does, you know, it, it's certainly challenging. I mean, I could maybe go with planes, but we're going to be running a river through this. And even if we keep it real tight, or maybe disconnect the river, that's a possibility. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. 13. Could connect the river. I feel like that leaves a bit less wasted land. But we can also run planes through here as well. I guess I'll have to see what my next land selection looks like and how we kind of solve this area right here. So let's see. Are there ways we can get to the point allotment before having to make that choice? I think we can continue to play some animals here. So wolf. And let's go in for the scratch. Good boy, Wolf. Howling at the moon. Alright, so what else do we have? Go can go right here. 742. I might be forced into playing this river. It kind of feels like I am. So, let's do it. If I keep it tight to this tree line. I mean, I could also do something like this. I could do something like this. Which will give me the flexibility to play it on this future tile here. Otherwise... But it creates a wasted spot right here, right? And then also this the swamp that's coming in over here. I mean, we're going to need to solve for this high ground. And when the river's running through it, it really dissects it up, right? So let me take another peek at this quick.
So if I do something like this, I think mountain right here is fine. If we go with... Probably need another landmass, actually, back here to continue the swamp, and then we can go grasslands in here as well. So if that's the case... Continuing the river on kind of makes sense then. So I think that's what I'll do. I mean, I think we can probably do something like this. And then I'm visualizing probably planes right here, or flowers, and then the swamp can, well, we want to use up this zone right here, so this is probably where the planes are, and then the swamp will have to have its own little zone back here. That's kind of what it feels like. But that's if we do this, and I feel like we kind of have to given the current state of our points. However, I could play a beaver right here play a boar right here as well. Are there any other oppor opportunities to just grind a few points? Let's do it then. Let's play the river. YOLO, my friends. YOLO. So if we end it right here, it's going to give us flexibility to continue to play it because it's not the lowest type of ground, right? So let's do this. Boom, we get 89 points from that. That's a big get. And we have, what, 8 of 15 completed size 12 biomes. Okay. So let's figure out what's going where now. So this feels like a pretty good zone. For probably like right here, I would think. Either that or we do have some flexibility back here as well. I think back here is a really good spot for just super high ground, right? I think this spot makes a lot of sense. For this, maybe we can... I think this makes sense. So we're going to do this. We're going to build out this mountain terrain. So let's do that. We have 12. Very good. So planes are connecting right here. Maybe we go with the planes in here. Okay, so that's seven. Get another landmass in right here. Maybe like right here. Still have six pieces of land to go, so... There's a lot more flexibility with the large maps than I originally thought. But I think what we have now is we have the ability to start getting some animal diversity. So let's get the fox in the clover fields. We have one fox. Let's get the... What is this? A cassowary? I still don't know what this animal is. Maybe a duck? Goose, perhaps? Doesn't look like a goose to me, but it could be. But the goose needs to be in the swamp, or the the water bird. <laughs> we'll call it a water bird. It needs to be in the swamp, is my point. 
Let's put the eagle in the mountain. And there we go. We cross the thousand mark and we get another piece of land. Alright, so. What are we doing with this? It kind of seems like suitable terrain. For some lowlands. Maybe we do something like this. Seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. And then we go with six. Otherwise, not a bad terrain to continue our mountain as well, right? So it's 14, 15, 16, 17, 18. We have eight here. We could Let's see what kind of terrain do I have? I've got some wildflowers. I've got five swamp tiles to play. So I think what and I actually have another river as well. Okay, very cool. I think we got to throw it here. Let's throw it right here. And the reason I'm going to do that is because we can... I can get some more flowers in, right? Let's complete this. So eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. We have seven. Eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Could always start another swamp right here. I mean, we've got a bunch of low land. I think it makes sense. Although we do have some swamp that we're trying to build out right here, so maybe we hold off on that, but we have some low land here, which is good, right? For a mountain zone. I mean, this is probably an ideal spot for some more of the versatile terrain. Maybe a forest? We've got four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. So maybe we could build a little pond in here. I think that probably is the best. So let's throw a pond about right here. Okay. Let's get all this watered. Let's go with some forest. Six. Four, five, six. All right, perfect. That's a nice looking zone right there. If I don't say so myself. So we're looking at 12 of 15. Okay, so we're almost there. We are almost there. I have another river. I know I'm going to get a high ground tile that maybe we can make use of. We still got to expand this. I'm doing some work over here. Got another eagle. Let's go eagle, wolf. There we go. All right, so this is the high ground that I was expecting to get, right? And the ideal placement for this is obviously back here. So we got four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. 12. Maybe we can begin a river here. We have 12. So if we begin a river here, and I don't know where it runs to necessarily yet, but we could actually conceivably get another biome in here of some of the more versatile struck or, uh, plants. 
Obviously not the low ground, right? But anything else, I could probably knife right in here. Might actually fit pretty good. So yeah, it, it's a possibility to begin a river here, but we got some animals to play to get us over that point threshold. Alright. Plus 60, unique. You bet. Alright, Fox. There's a nice fox. Just don't stay too close to the wolf there, pal. Alright, fox. And fox, plus 60. Okay, so where is our final forest creature? Doesn't look like we have it yet. That's okay. We have the duck. Or the goose, or whatever you want to call it. Goes right there in the flower fields. How about the plains? Beaver and bee. Okay. An eagle. I don't often liken the eagle to the plains, but I suppose. The eagle has incredible vision. And look at this. We have the deer now. So that is the third forest animal. <laughs> I like that. Let's see, what is it? What's it like to pet the deer? That's a good deer. Good Bambi. Alright, sorry. I'm easily amused by things, my friends. Alright, let's check the landmass. So we need a spot that has six tiles of low ground. This particular one definitely does not. But is there a decent opportunity here to... One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Or we could do this. I think we do this. And three, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. So if we just run the river like this. Oh, that's right. It can't. Can I undo that? I can. Okay, maybe there's more opportunity here somehow. So that's actually not going to work like I thought it was going to work. You know, it's the high ground, mid ground, low ground conundrum that we face so frequently here on the channel with Preserve, my friends. But that's okay. I still think we can do something here with a river. In fact, do we maybe consider this? I mean, I'm seeing a river right here. It's not a very long river, but I'm seeing a river. And we could probably get two biomes in here. So what do we have? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. And then what are these per? These are 19 per. So 9 and 19 is 28. 28 minus 24 is 4. So if we have a river that is 4 tiles long, only, right, we should be able to get 2 additional biomes in this zone. It might work. We got all kinds of biomes that could be played. Otherwise, we're looking at Swamp right here, and then we can complete the swamp like so, but the river dies. This river dies. This obviously isn't the best terrain for the continuation of this swamp. 
This would allow us to expand our planes. I think I kind of like this. It's just kind of, it just kind of fits. The puzzle piece just fits. All right, so we have trees. I've got flowers. I've got trees. I've got planes as well. So let's go ahead and play our planes here. Okay, that's seven. Eight, nine, ten. Eleven, twelve. Do something like this. Okay, we've got another zone in here. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. I mean it's uh it's a mini river, but it'll work. That'll work real good. So let's go with flowers because trees are, of course, adjacent. And we'll complete that biome right there, but plus 52 points. On the river, on the pond. Looking good. 1900 is our score. So let's continue to play our animals here. So we have the goats in the clover fields. We have the duck looking thing. And we have the bee. Boom. Plus 60. How about Bambi? Absolutely. Bambi's loving the trees. And we'll play the wolf as well. Alright, so we gotta be close on this. 1979, and we have 14 of 15. Okay, so we got some big things happening this turn, my friends. Let's complete this. And what do you know? We got it. So what is this? I'm very curious. Unlocks the natural wonder shop. Okay. So what is... The only thing I've seen on natural wonders is right here. Each tile with natural wonder plus 10. Okay. Um, so I think we have to find a spot for this, right? Can it go anywhere? I guess I don't know. I don't know anything about this. So I think first things first, let's let's see if we can make something work with this right here. Which we certainly can. But we probably want to do it like this. Or maybe like this. This will allow the river to continue if we need it to. The planes can come this way. 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. Let's do this. Let's go ahead and get our swamp lands. There's 10. And here's 12. Okay. Tremendous. Planes. 7. I don't like this high spot right here. Suppose I could throw a pond there. 7, 8. So if I wanted to continue this river, I could. So let's utilize the high ground. And the versatile planes. 
So what is this? Can this go here? Hey, what do you know? It can. Let's throw it there. Okay, so... Natural Wonder score 10 points for each tile in their habitat. Okay. So these are like... So you have to turn in... Okay, got it. You have to turn in your cards, but then you get like super boosted of the biome. Interesting. Super interesting. Then I wonder, does it like just transform a biome maybe? Okay, so this is a whole new layer to the game for sure. And I'm loving it. Okay, so we'll have to figure that out. I mean, I think typically you have a bunch of cards left over that you just haven't played. So maybe we kind of look at that toward the end game to really boost our score. I think for the time being though, let's go ahead and start filling up our biomes with animals. I mean, we do it for the animals here, my friends. Plains, eagle. Absolutely, we got Bambi again. Alright, so we got more land. So this is all solved here, and it looks good. Quite satisfied with that zone. Still got to get some more low ground for swamp. 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. Darn. And it looks like we got... Yeah, so it's... Kind of running out of land options. I guess hopefully we get 6 low ground in this last one here. That is the hope. So since that's the case... And I've got 30 mountains. Do I try to screw around with this? With the wonder? Do I turn it in for the mountain? I've got 30 mountain cards, literally. Let's try it. YOLO. Okay, so now we have 18. Okay, cool. Plus 10 per mountain in the habitat. Okay. Okay. So, do we... Ah! It transforms! Look at that! That's quite aesthetic, that's appealing. That is visually very nice to look at. We got some big points from that as well. Okay, cool. I like that. So what are we going to do with this little landmass right here? I think we obviously need another biome in here. The question is what? Looks like there's an opportunity to continue the river. Could probably put another mountain biome back here. I mean, we got three, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Could do that. We could throw a pond right here. And you could probably lace in another biome right here as well. I think that makes sense, given our current options. Alright, so there's 12. I think I can probably put a pond right here, but I guess let's halt on that for a moment. So if we're going to complete this river... One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Alright, so let's go with the pond right here. And let's go ahead and start playing some trees. So if we're going to complete the river, maybe it ends like right here. Or right here. No, it can't go up. Maybe it ends like right here or something. So we have 10. So 
So how about this? We complete the river right here like so. We put another pond right here. Just a nice aesthetic reflection pool. All right, looking good. So let's keep going. Forest. Bambi. In the forest. And what do you know? We get another river card. So let's complete it. And what do we have for our final piece of land? This is important. And we get something that just simply does not work with the swamp that we have, of course. Alright, so what are the options that we have? I could use six removal cards and get this out of here. And we could replace it with forest. We could do that. And then I could turn those six swamp cards into... So I've got this, I've got a couple of swamps here. What is the exchange rate? It's 12. Okay. I mean, we'd almost be able to get two, but I think that's what I have to do. Because, unfortunately, we just didn't get the right height. Right? There's no way to get another six tiles in here of low ground. So before I go and just start using my removal cards, I think we certainly need to get this zone solved. So let's do something like this. Go with something like this. I'm going to just remove this. Yep, absolutely. Yep. Let's collect it back. Whoop. Great spot for a forest, though. Five, six. Make it rain for days here. Seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. What do we have remaining? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Okay, perfect. So we can throw a pond here. And how about these flower lands? Lovely. Made another zone of twelve there. Very nice. And that is all of the land that we have available to us. Everything is mostly maximized. However, I do have four ponds left. So maybe I should have planned those into the old build overall. Before filling everything up with land. But I'm actually surprised that it went as well as it did, to be honest. So we have 22 swamp and 18 plains. We can turn those in. So let's get the plains. And let's get the swamp. Yep. Yep. Let's see. Nice little preserved lily pad lands. Let's go. Boom. Oh yeah, look at that. Got the beaver. <laughs> the beaver just tips over. Oh, I love that so much. All right. And we have the plains. Where's a good spot for our feature landmark? How about right around the preserver's hut? Boom. Aha. Look at that. Leave a little terrain for the victims of the eagle to hide, maybe. Just a little bit. All right, very cool. So obviously, as we continue to gain score and get more animals, or sorry, more biome cards, we can turn them in and transform. So let's go ahead and let's fill up what needs to be filled up. So swamp, yes. Boom. Plus three unique. Do we have Bambi? We do. We got Bambi, we got wolf, and we got the fox. All right, perfect. We have the goats, we have the fox, and we have the bees. Boom. 
plus 60. All right, so we got enough of the wild flower lands and more swamp action. All right. So swamp action plus 120 there. These flower lands are touching the preserver's hut, so I think it makes sense. Ooh, look at that. That is lovely. Beautiful. All right. Mountains. Let's go wolf. Let's go eagle. And let's go goat. Boom, another unique. Just keep stacking that score. Let's go. Uh, same thing here with this mountain. Wolf and eagle. All right, lovely. Flower lance. I want to be careful and cautious with the duck. We've only got one of them. How about for planes? Yeah, we got plenty of creatures of the planes. So, eagle, Bambi, and beaver. In fact, where do you think you're going, Bambi? Come here, buddy. That's a good, that's a good deer. And the beaver just tips over. It doesn't matter if he's in the swamp or the plains. Alright, here's another forest zone. Let's go ahead and get this populated. Uh, we got wolf. We got the boar and we got Bambi. Okay. So everything appears to be filled up. How are we doing for land cards? We got the forest and the mountain again. Okay. So we got mountain. We got forest. I think the nice zone along the river here is a great spot for a forest upgrade. Let's do it. Oh yeah. Like redwoods. And the mountain zone. I mean, we're kind of starting... We started off with, like, this Twin Peaks sort of setup. So let's make it true to its name. Boom. All right, we breached the 4,000 mark. Although, I do believe 4,400 was the goal. Well, at least the top-notch goal. But as I'm looking at this, I don't really see what else we could do. just not seeing it I've got some removal cards can we get fancy with removal cards in any fashion I mean these lakes I think were probably an opportunity I'm not really seeing anything else to do here, my friends. I think we are all locked up at 4,012, which is a pretty good score. Better than maybe I thought we were going to get here today. Yeah, it's my first crack at the large map. And I really do like the Preserver's Hut mechanic. Very cool mechanic, for sure. Interesting. Interesting. I mean, we maximized our land. We put a couple of rivers in here. Maybe it was the rivers that in a way kind of worked against us a little bit. Maybe. Forty-four hundred seems like a really high number, but I think I'm going to concede there. And look at what we have created, my friends. Let's take this off. Let's just admire the zen-like nature of preserve so let's wave the green flag here my friends let's turn in 40 12 as our final score let's go back to the main screen and land this plane so i do appreciate you being here thank you so much thank you for your viewership if you enjoyed the video here today please do give it a like that does help me out a lot if you are new to the channel or you're new here or maybe You've been a fence sitter and you're not sure if you're ready to commit and subscribe. Well, I would encourage you to subscribe. We are a very consistent channel here. And if you like what you saw here today, 
And this is the kind of content that we do here on the channel. So if you like a little bit of variety in your life, then this channel might be a resource for you. Ultimately, I just want to thank you so much for your viewership and spending some time here on the channel today. And I'll be catching you in the next video, my friends. Thanks.